In these problems, we are calculating the volumes of composite figures, so different geometric shapes attached or stacked on top of each other. Let's look at this first one. It says a rectangular pyramid fits exactly on top of a rectangular prism. So let's just sketch out something like that. So here's a rectangle. We'll turn that into a prism. And then we'll stick a pyramid on the top. So there is a rectangular prism with a pyramid on the top. To figure out the volume of this composite shape, we're going to figure out the volume of the rectangular prism and add it to the volume of the pyramid. So we just need to figure out those two things and add them together. The volume of the rectangular prism shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's see, they've given us the dimensions here, length 18, width 7, height 11. So the volume of the rectangular prism is just going to be 18 times 7 times 11. And let's see, if you crunch the numbers on that, you should get 1,386. Now we want to add that to the volume of the pyramid. And the volume of the pyramid is going to be, it's not a very good pyramid I drew down there, is going to be 1 third times the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. So, and when I talk about the height of the pyramid, I mean a point from the very top, straight down and perpendicular to the base of the pyramid. Here they're just giving us the height, so we don't have to do anything fancy to figure that out. They're telling us that's 15. So we've got all we need to figure out that volume. That would be one-third times, now the area of the base, if this side is 18, then this side is 18. And if this side is 7, then this side is 7. So one-third, 18 times 7. And then the height is 15. So times 15. And that should come out to 630. And so we just add these two together, and you should get 2016. And this was in centimeters, and since it's volume, it's going to be cubic centimeters. All right, let's look at one more. This one says, the inside of an ice cream cone has a radius of 4 centimeters and a height of five centimeters. So we're dealing with an ice cream cone and I guess we have to assume that the ice cream cone is one of these that are actually cone shaped rather than some kind of cup thing you'd get at Dairy Queen. And they've given us a radius of four and a height of five. And then it says assuming the cone is filled with ice cream and a half scoop of ice cream in the shape of a hemisphere is put on top and it fits perfectly. So we've got hemisphere up here. We've really got two pieces now. One is the volume of the cone and the other is the volume of a hemisphere. So if we add those two together we'll have the volume of this composite shape. Let's work on the volume of a cone first. The formula for the volume of a cone is one-third times pi times the radius squared times the height. They've given us everything we need here. So this is just one-third pi times uh, four squared times five. And if we crunch the numbers on there, I think we get something like 83.7. So that's the volume of the cone. Let's work on the volume of the hemisphere now. The volume of a sphere is four-thirds pi r cubed. If we want half of that, we just multiply that by one half. So the volume of a hemisphere is one half times four thirds times pi r cubed. And if we plug our numbers in there, we're going to get one half times four thirds times pi times four to the third power. And crunching the numbers on that one, I am getting 134. And now if we take this and add it to this, we should get 217.7. And the original measurements were in centimeters, and this is volume, so it's cubic centimeters. So that's a little bit of work with figuring out the volumes of composite shapes. My name is Larry, 
I am a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested and you want to check us out, we're on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.